What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. Where are all the good men? I'm only at home playing video games. Fired. Doing their own thing. I say this once and it's probably going to piss off a lot of single women, but those are the ones who need to turn their volume up. If you say things like, all men are trash, or I only attract boys, or I don't know why he continues to come back to me, then stop right there. Listen, men are not the problem here. You are. They are. Oh, preach. I love hearing it. I love hearing it. Look at the accountability. Upset because men are not dating them anymore. At 45, I can't find, find a man in real life. I'm afraid of being alone forever. Maybe someone here will like me. What's your name and how old are you? <laughs> how about no? Stupid. God, so much eyeliner. I don't know about you, chat. Do you guys like that? It's just like, it reminds me of a raccoon. Me is F because I can't find a man that will actually care about me, not make me question my worth daily, and treat me like a human being. so hard. Oh, it's the bop lore. She's a runner, she's a track star. I love it. I know I value man. What do you mean by that? Like, all I want is a good guy that takes care of me. But there's plenty of good guys out there. What do you mean by take care of you? I don't know, like, make me feel safe? Take away my stress? Take charge for once? Oh, I get it. So a man you could submit to. Ew, what? A man who's bigger and stronger than you? Yeah. A man who can financially support the two of you? Preferably. A man who takes the lead on things? Sure. Right. A man superior to you. Ugh, why are you saying it like that? See, I love it. See, that's the thing, though. Ladies, you want a guy that's stronger than you, more competent than you, more intelligent than you more confident than you, makes more money than you, and, but you don't want to submit to him? <laughs> you literally just explained somebody that is superior to you, which means you are inferior, inferior to them. It makes no sense to me. You want a guy that's literally better than you in all categories, but you don't want to submit? <laughs> oh, you can't make this stuff up. Like what? Superior, submit, like all these words are disgusting. Just because I'm a woman doesn't mean that men are superior to me. And I'm a strong woman, I don't submit to anyone. But you want to, huh? How can a man lead if you don't want to submit to that lead? Thanks. How can a man make you feel safe if he isn't physically superior to you? How can a man support you financially and take away your stress if you don't allow him to? You say that you want all of these things, but the moment a man with those qualities comes around, you feel your independence slipping away and you panic. So how about you submit for once and let one of those good men give you what you want. I'll never submit, and you'll never find a man. Oh. I find it fun. Oh, goodness gracious. I love seeing the based women. So good. Funny when women who are in relationships tell modern women why they're single and why they can't find a man, but they always ignore their advice because it goes against their westernized programming of being a strong and independent woman. Women be like, men are terrible. I can never find me a good man. Is that right? Is that right, Stephanie? Have you tried not being a psycho for five minutes? <laughs> Man, would you rather be stuck in the woods with- Okay, a okay. What is that? Woman or a bear? Oh, I think I can answer this on behalf of most men. Maybe not all, but most. But the answer is we're gonna choose the bear a hundred times out of a hundred. Why? Well, it's very simple. If the bear chooses to take us out, it's going to be over fairly quickly. Yeah, True. there might be a little pain. Yeah, it might not be fun. But relatively speaking, it'll be over soon. We'll be out of our misery. But getting into a relationship with a woman, oh, that's going to be a pain that lasts and lasts and lasts. It's going to be a slow, agonizing, torturous death. One that will never seem to be coming to an end. One that we're going to have to relive over and over and over again. So, yeah, ladies, I'm sorry to tell you, but we're going to choose the bear also. But I got a better idea. How about neither one of us choose the bear? You go your way, we'll go ours. We men will be perfectly happy with that because the bottom line is this. Either way, we're the ones that come out ahead. We no longer have to deal with the drama no longer have to deal with the narcissism, no longer have to deal with inane arguments about whether us or the bear is safer. We get to go do what we want to do best, enjoy life, and live in peace.
If a girl wants a guy who's... I mean, I agree to that to some extent. Because I, I think men do thrive alone. Chat, let me know what you think. I think men thrive alone a lot better than women do. Women are more like in the social services. They're more nurses, teachers, things like that. And men are more interested in things. Women are more interested in people. But at the end of the day, dude... I'm pro relationships. I'm with Cass. I live with Cass or she lives with me. I guess I pay for everything, but like she cooks, she cleans, she does all the homely duties, but I think we're better together and together we're better. And I think what this life is all about is building meaningful relationships. And the thing is a lot of men and a lot of women build meaningless relationships. They look at certain things in their life that they maybe have in inadequacies in or in or, um, inefficiencies in or something like, or what, what's the word I'm looking for? Inadequacies, I think, is the best word. Um, yeah, inadequacies. They have inadequacies in their life, and they're looking for someone else to fill this void of a negative they have. Oh, well, they make me feel good about myself. They make me they make me happy to be me. Well, the thing is, you need to fall in love with yourself before you fall in love with anybody else. Put it on a t-shirt. Because if you don't, what is, what is somebody else going to come in and love if you don't even love yourself? This is why I say go do the work on yourself, and then when you get up a, a little bit later on in life, you can go and find a woman. You can go procure a woman. I like this guy, the men need to be heard thing, but it looks like he has been burned more than likely, and that's why he's just sit, sit, sitting there alone. Now, a couple things with him. He is bald. That's tough out in these streets. I know it. Jason Statham's bald, but he's also ripped. He looks like he's a little bit overweight. If he was in good shape and looked the best possible version of himself, more than likely he could attract a woman that's a little bit of a higher value. But it's really hard to attract somebody when you're a big back. Big back, big back. Because what it is when you're a big back and somebody looks at you, doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, somebody looks at you and they immediately think, or, or let me know in the chat before I, before I tell you what I think. What do you think somebody looks at you and thinks immediately when they see that you're overweight? I'll give it a second. They immediately think that you don't have any discipline. You have no discipline. You can't even discipline what you're putting in your mouth. <laughs> I could go, you know, a couple other ways, but that's my point. You don't even have discipline on what you're putting in your mouth. You don't even have discipline of the food that you eat. Like your body is a direct representation of the discipline that you live day in and day out. I'm six foot, 280 pounds. I go to the gym three days a week. I walk four to five days a week. I get 10,000 steps a day. I could send it to you guys in the Discord. I've, I've gotten 10,000 steps for the past three months straight. 10,000 steps per day. Like, But it's that discipline. And when somebody looks at me, I'm dressed well. I smell good. My hair's taken care of. My beard's taken care of. People take me serious because I look like I need to be taken seriously. Put it on a t-shirt. People take me serious because I look like I need to be taken seriously. I don't look like I'm somebody to clown with or joke with. But when you're a slob, people aren't going to take you serious. They're not going to respect you. People respect you as much as you respect yourself. It's just like being a, a corn star or a stripper or something like that. You're a marketer. Other people are salesmen. You're marketing what you are and how people should perceive you. Perception versus per um, perception versus perspective. Your uh, perspective of yourself is that you're a great person, but you're not perceived that way. You got to be the full package. And the point of the channel is to kind of motivate you guys to be the best versions of yourself because you're going to feel better about it. And then you'll attract the right people in your life. It's older. It's a preference. If a guy wants a girl who's younger, it's creepy and immature. If a girl True. doesn't want to date a short guy, it's a preference. If a guy doesn't want to date a girl that's overweight, he's an asshole who's not focused on the things that matter. If a girl wants a guy who can take charge, it's a preference. If a guy wants a girl who will submit to his lead, he's, you guessed it, misogynistic. If a girl sets a boundary, it's empowering. If a guy sets a boundary, it's controlling. Women have mm -hmm. preferences. Men have something wrong with them. This isn't a double standard. Well, it's women have uh, preferences. Men have insecurities. That's what they call it. Just illogical. So why does anyone accept it? Men aren't accepting it anymore, which is... Well, and that's why a lot of men are going their own way. And, and the thing is, like, I'm, I'm pro relationships. A lot of you guys might not be, and I'm cool with that. If you want to go your own way, do your own thing, bro. Like, it's cool. It's cool. I'm cool with that. As long as you're happy and you're not hurting anyone, that's what I really care about. And are you a productive citizen of, you know, this economy, this society? Are you doing something that's helping somebody other than yourself? I think when you lived like a very selfish life, it's just not very rewarding. I think you need to do something that's outside of yourself. That's why I get a lot out of doing this YouTube channel. I get a lot out of helping you guys out. Like you guys reach out to me on Discord. I really appreciate all the love, all the support. So like that gives me a reason to want to wake up every day and record more content and connect more with you guys and help out as much as I can. That my girlfriend will not be wearing this Halloween. I'm sorry, babe, but you're not wearing that. He then goes to show an array of adult costumes that he would not want his girlfriend to wear.
And what really threw me off was this comment here. We don't care. If you are somebody who thinks like this, I really need you to ask yourself why. Like, I'm, I'm really serious. What makes you believe that your girlfriend wearing something she wants to wear makes her unloyal? Are you concerned about her or are you concerned about other men? Are you concerned that other men are going to be attracted to her? I think it boils down to this idea that when women do something that catches the attention of men, she's doing it for their attention. And she's not. The whole video just yelled, I'm insecure. Well, if she's not, then why doesn't she just stay at home? You want to wear something skimpy? Wear it at the crib. Take some pictures on your phone and just save it on your camera roll. But the thing is, these ladies want to be seen out and about. Cass doesn't ever want to dress up again. I mean, we dressed up when we were in our 20s, but now that we're older, bro, she's like, I don't want to dress like that. And the thing is, if you don't trust your man enough to know that He's he doesn't want you to wear that stuff because he is a man. He thinks like a man and he knows what other men are going to think. And once again, women are marketers and men are salesmen. So if you're out there marketing that you are 304 for the streets, she's a runner, she's a track star. Men are more than likely going to think that. They're going to think, "Oh, it's not just his. Like she's not just his. She's for us." Like, "No, nah, that's not what we want." to apply what kind of person somebody is based off what they're wearing. Y'all know I love my hoochie shorts and I love my hoochie outfits. But trying to control your girlfriend because you don't know how to dismantle your insecurities or are you probably- I love it. It's always controlling and dismantling your insecurities. It's a preference. Just like you guys want to, uh, you ladies want a guy that's tall, dark, and handsome. And not a her problem. The girl sets a- And who, whose grandma does she steal those glasses from? boundary it's empowering if a guy sets a boundary it's controlling women have preferences men have something wrong with them and ladies do not let these men tell y'all what y'all can and cannot do if you want to do something do it if you don't want to do something out of respect for your boyfriend don't do it but make sure that's something you want to do this yeah make sure it's all you 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 me 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 my 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 see how selfish all of that is it's all about you girl don't worry about what he thinks like People seem to forget that when you're in a relationship, it's more than just you. You're in a relationship with someone else. That's why you're an item. You're a union. You're one now. You're not just yourself and I'm me and you're you. Like, we're together. It's a lot different. I like this. Ugh. Hey. No. I'm literally the guy in the <laughs> Just Men in case you. Are lazy. That man throws some of the hardest punches. I don't know if you've ever seen Justin Gaethje's fights, bro. He be throwing some straight up bombs. Why you get more male attention when you look approachable? Toxic men are lazy. Insecure men are lazy. So when a man sees that you don't take big back, big back care of yourself, you're looking scrubby in sweats or whatnot in a bun and you're not trying at all, it's because you are you might be more approachable, but in their mind they think that you are easier to get to. Because notice when you get dressed up, when you feel confident, when you are in your own bubble, it literally feels like no one comes up to you. Do you think a guy that has no confidence, a guy that has nothing established is going to come up to me and try to get with me? Absolutely not. He's going to respect me. He might open the door for me, but he's not going to ask for my number because I might be too intimidating. But the man that does come up to me, that tries Stupid. to get my number, I can tell you this, he's probably confident. He knows his value. He's not scared of a rejection. And he probably believes that he can afford me because a man that wants something serious is going to be looking for someone that he can afford and maintain. And this is why I have never been scared to admit that I'm expensive because a man that wants to get with me. Baby girl, you look like you live in an apartment. Your room does not look expensive. You've got that same yellow paint that everybody else got. He needs to be able to afford me first. This is just to remind you ladies to continuously try on your appearance. Look clean, look classy, because you will attract- and Be a fit. Specific type of man. We don't want to attract a lot of men, no. We want to attract specific high value men. Remember that. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Welcome back to another- <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. Like when girls explain this stuff and it's all about money, it just it just sounds like you're a day walker, a street walker, bruv. Somebody want some jerky? Sit. Wait. You're sniffing it like you ain't gonna eat it. Bring. Go to your place. You see him? He's like, <laughs> like he's not gonna eat it, bro. Stop. But this is what I don't get. It's like it's all about money, 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 money. Like you sound like you're trading your body for money. It sounds like you're a streetwalker. It doesn't sound like you're actually looking for a connection. It sounds like you're looking for a, a dad to pay all your bills. So it's so crazy to me, bro. It's like, yeah, dress nice, look good. Fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids. That's what we're looking for as men. Come on now, ladies. Killing me, bruv.
or behind the scenes in my single wife era. The only way you could single be wife era. What does that even make sense? Single wife is if you married yourself, which means the advice you just gave doesn't work since you had to marry yourself to get a ring. What is the best advice you've ever heard or received? Believe in yourself. Why be normal when you can be the best? If you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. Never say you can't do it. Say I haven't done it yet. Yeah. I haven't done it yet. Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but doing it like you love it. I'm telling you, dude, discipline, bro. Discipline. Magic you are looking for is in the is, is in the work that you're avoiding. I think work you're avoiding. Never fear a storm. Learn to dance in the rain. Everybody that you fight is not your enemy, and everybody that helps you is not your friend. The only thing that you can do is win so big that all of them constantly compare themselves to you, and then you'll forget they exist. What is the worst advice you've ever heard or received? It can't be done. Man, solid, solid advice. You gotta love that though, man. But that's, and, and I know I talk about manifestation and stuff like that. Loki, go to your place. Lay down. You know I talk about manifestation and sometimes it may sound a little corny. You're like, Levi, what are you, one of these girls? Talking about manifestation, man. I mean, it is a little bit corny, but the thing is, when I started my channel back in November 19th of 2023, I said, you know what? I will have 100,000 subscribers. I didn't know when I was going to do it, but I mean, look at us right now. We're at like 96K. Shout out to you guys, by the way. Um, but if I wouldn't have believed that I could do it, I, it would have never happened. And bro, like, when we first started the channel... I wasn't, dude, I wasn't getting any views. I wasn't getting any subscribers. Like, bro, it was bad. It really, things weren't really going that well. Like, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Things weren't going well at all. I was like, eh, I'm doing okay. Like, you know, I'm doing all right. But I'm not really, you know, nothing's really happening here. I'm not getting a lot of motion, twin. Um, but then after a while, things started ramping up. And I started to get more views. And I started to get more subscribers. But the thing is, it took so long to even get to that point, bro. It took so long to even get to that point. Like, it took me at least, I want to say, I'm looking at my analytics right now. So if I look at the beginning of the year, I was getting I was getting 2,000 views a day. 2,000 upwards to maybe 8,000 views a day up until May of this year, when I, I hit the first day I've ever had 22,000 views. And then bumped up a month later, I was getting 90,000. 50,000 then 100,000 then 200 000. like it just and it just starts going it just trends up but a lot of people would have quit after month three I was posting YouTube videos every single day for like November December January February March April May yeah May's the first month that kind of bumped up so seven months of nobody paying attention seven months <laughs> isn't that crazy so in the next time you're like oh man I really want this I really want I really want to change my life Ask yourself, am I going to be okay doing this for seven months and seeing zero results? I'm, t I'm working with um, one of Cass's family members right now. He's reaching out to me. He's like, yeah, man, Levi, I need a job. I need to get out of this. And I'm like, he, th he sees what I'm doing. And he's like, man, I could do that. And a lot of people do. A lot of my family members are like, oh, I could do that. I could do that. I'm like, cool. How about you start posting a YouTube video, a 20-minute YouTube video every day for seven months and, get, and barely get any views and then tell me you're, you're ready to keep going? Because I didn't think I was going to be able to make it. I was like, man, this is getting daunting. But I knew. I just knew. I was like, if I do this for a year, something will change. And we're almost to the year mark, and we're almost to 100,000 subscribers. We're at 96,000 right now. So if you ever feel down, you ever feel like, man, I can't do this, man. This is really hard. Stick your head down for seven, eight months and just watch your life change. And if you have a 9 to 5 right now, that's good. Work your 9 to 5. I did it for a decade. I was in corporate sales. I worked in corporate sales for a decade, cold calling, hitting the phone, running demos, traveling, doing all this. And I quit a nice job to come do YouTube full time because you guys are so great and everything's been going well. And I'm like, well, if I, I need to double down on my dream, which is having this channel, then that way I can flourish later on in life. But I had to, I had to work a nine to five. And then as soon as I got done with my nine to five, I worked a five to nine, work your nine to five and then work your five to nine. It's, it, it sucks. 
I was I was talking to one of Cass's family members and he was like, man, how do I how do I get there? I'm like, work your nine to five, get home, work a five to nine, do it for five years and watch your life change. But if you don't do it for five years, nothing's going to change. If you do it like a little bit here and then you do a little bit there and well, well, one week you're really consistent and then the next week you're you're not as consistent. Like you're not going to see it. And bro, I don't know about you guys, but I know people that are like ten times more talented, ten, blah, blah, ten times more talented than me, ten times funnier than me. 10 times smarter than me, but they haven't been able to pop off on social media because they're not consistent. They do it for a week and then they stop. They do it for a few days and they stop. They do it for a month and then stop. Like the consistency's not there. There's one thing I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna show up every single day for you guys. Every single day. And that's my message to you. I don't know why we got a little deep on this episode, but like just show up every day, dude. Do a little bit every day. Going to the gym a little bit every day is better than going once a week. It, it just, it is. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? He just wants another treat. Um, but no, I really do appreciate you guys. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality, makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace!